Bright Comet Atlas. Could blaze into view this month. Already visible in telescopes and high-power binoculars, the comet may be bright enough to see with the naked eye by the end of April. And it is sparking fear. There's been a lot of talk in recent days on social media regarding the approach of the new comet that could possibly evolve into a spectacular sight in the coming weeks ahead. The comet has been christened ATLAS, which is an acronym for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Laser Alert System, ATLAS, a robotic astronomical survey and early warning system based in Hawaii, optimized for detecting small near-Earth objects a few weeks to a few days before they impact Earth. But besides finding asteroids, Atlas has found many comets. And Comet Atlas C 2019 Y4 is the one we're talking about, an electric comet. Now, is this the blue star Kachina? In Frank Walter's writings on the Hopi mythology, the blue star Kachina is a Kachina or spirit that will signify the coming and the beginning of the new world by appearing in the form of a blue star. The blue star Kachina is said to be the ninth and final sign before the day of purification, described as an apocalypse or world-engulfing cataclysm that will lead to the annihilation of planet Earth. Now, I can assure you that a blue star Kachina is an electric comet. And the only way to get an electric comet is if our sun is outbursting. And ironically, in the last 24 hours, we've had some of the largest flares from our sun in years. We're up into the B class and we're entering solar cycle 25. So in the next four to eight weeks, while Comet Atlas transitions across our vectors, the sun may light it up. Now, electric comets are not new, but the fact that we still consider comets to be pieces of ice is absolutely ludicrous. We've been on many comets and they're made of rock. And the luminosity has nothing to do with breaking apart of the ice or the comet itself. But there is multivariate portions of tails, an ion tail and a solar wind tail. These are all electrically derived due to different vectors and different electromagnetic environments in the comet's region. And a comet that lights up like Comet Ison or Comet Atlas or any of the electric comets, their coma is what they're describing and the shape they're describing as larger than the sun or half as large as the sun. The actual object itself is tiny in comparison to the size of the electric discharge in its wake. Meanwhile, there would be just a tiny little rock in the center here. Here's Comet Ison, just a tiny little rock at the center of that plasmoid. All this 100,000 mile tail electricity, not ice or sublimation or any of the other garbage. And we learn this as ice and change from a single tail to multiple tails to a vortex physical tail showing an actual Birkeland current here in this fashion. These comets are tiny. In Ison's case, just a few, you know, a kilometer or so in the middle and in a coma of thousands of miles. Now, is bright comet Atlas disintegrating? This is just coming out over the last 48 hours. According to imaging that we've been doing, in recent days, Comet C 2019 Y4 Atlas has been fainter during the last few nights, and it's possible that it's disintegrating as comets sometimes do, although it's also possible that it will survive. Here's the coma earlier. You can see a tight, compact circle, and here you can see it spreading. Now, it's my opinion that it's actually electrifying, which is spreading out the details and not actually breaking up. But if it does break up, what does that mean? Let's first look at some of the 3D tra trajectories, and let's look at the actual orbit of this comet. Now, the comet's orbit takes it just outside of Pluto and back inside of Mars here and up and through Mercury and the Earth, or Mercury and the Sun. It's absolutely kind of spectacular how close it's going to come in here. Take a look at that. 
You see how close the positioning is? Here's Earth over here. And I believe that this is probably could be one of the better positions where we could view it at. Let's just rotate it around so you can see all the planets and see where this is coming from. Okay, here's Earth, Venus, the Sun, and Mercury. And let's animate it. And you'll see the comet coming in here and moving through. Now, if we can refresh this and do it at a different angle, you'll see the comet moving away. All right, let's bring this back in and do it a little slower. And in the meantime, let's talk about C2019Y4. Now, Comet Atlas was discovered December 28, 2019 with a 0.5 meter reflecting telescope atop Mauna Loa. The images were taken as part of the ATLAS program. And at the time of its discovery, the comet shown at a magnitude 19.6. It's now down at 7.8 and increasing. And let's go back to that 3D sky viewer. And let's just run this through again. And you can see the current position of ATLAS there. And let's start it in July of 2019. And let's slow this baby down. Let's do one second equals four days. So here's Comet Atlas coming into the field of view. And we'll just speed it up to one second equals two weeks. And you can see the comet now coming in here. October, November 2019, December of 2019, January. Here's your February shot, March, April. And let's just stop it there. Here's May 2020. And this comet is accelerating here. Here's the plane of the ecliptic. Let's just look at it from this angle. And we'll bring it back in here. So here we are. May through June, that's the pass through. where this baby's gonna whip around the sun inside of Mercury towards the end of May, and by June, be way below here. Now, what can happen as it passes the ecliptic here is if this comet is breaking up, it will leave a debris trail through this arc, and each time the planets go through it, it has a chance to hit this debris tail. Every time the planets go through the debris tail, they have a chance to hit it. Now, depending on the size of the debris tail, Mercury, Venus could be at risk. Lots of pieces could hit the sun, but Earth is very far out. So as this comes in, if it were to leave a gigantic debris tail, it probably wouldn't affect anything but Mercury. So we could see some strikes on Mercury. We could also see some pieces hitting the sun. But even if the coma was as big as the sun, or twice as big as the sun, it still doesn't come out here towards Earth. So as far as Earth is concerned, it really doesn't seem to be a problem. What seems to be a problem is the fact that if this electrifies, the visibility of the comet from the surface of Earth could be epic. Uh, it could be visible during the daytime. Can you imagine that? Now, Comet C29Y4 is also related to Great Comet of 1843. 
They're both parts of the great comet of 1106, X1106C1, which broke up in 1106. And it was observed to split into many pieces, forming the great comet of 1882, comet Ikea Seiki, and now comet C 2019Y4. These are all pieces of the X 1106C1, which was the great comet of 1106. All of these comets are associated with major breakdowns in society. <clears throat> but more importantly, brings me to the great comet of 1811, formerly de designated C 1811F1. It's a comet that was visible to the naked eye for 260 days, a record it held until the appearance of Hale-Bopp in 1997. Now, the significance of this record is that in October of 1811, it was at its brightest when the 1.2 angstroms from Earth. Now, Comet C 2019Y4 is going to be almost more than twice as close to Earth, which is why I worry that it might kick off the new Madrid. Now, the New Madrid kicked off in 1811 because of that comet and other factors, grand solar minima much, and literally tilted the Earth. And we recently saw other comets break apart, like Shoemaker-Levy 9, which broke apart into several parts that we saw hit Jupiter. So this is the only picture that I can show you of the 1811 quake in New Madrid. And this is hundreds of miles away and just some of the damage that occurred. Obviously not a good shot, but could be telling of the things that are coming. Will this comet break apart? Will it be electrified and light up the night sky? Will it illuminate the day sky? Will it kick off the New Madrid quake? It's anyone's guess, but we now know that comets are electric. They're not made of ice, and they can break apart and become a nightmare. Because when comets break apart and they no longer exist, we call them meteor showers. So if this comet is breaking apart next year at the same time, or a year from now, or whenever the periodicity is, we will have the Comet Atlas meteor shower. Or we'll travel through it, and we will have mayhem on Earth of biblical proportions. Are you picking it up? We just put it down. You have eight weeks to experience the perigee. And we're going to be reporting on it. So you have an excellent source of information to come to. Hope you got something out of the video. There is a comet. It's electric and it's coming. Will it break up? Will we go through the debris tail? Will the coma get so large that it electrifies the ionosphere and we're back to the petroglyph times? Locusts, flooding, pandemic. Is it Armageddon? Or are these just the beginning tales of what's coming for the next decade? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. The time is now to start learning how to survive and thrive in the new Stone Age. Be safe. Comet Atlas is coming, and we're not bumming.